Hey, greetings from Pastor Speller. I'm here in the office and coming to you to live and direct via technology on this beautiful day. I don't know exactly what the weather looks like where you are for those who are far and near. Uh, it may be rainy. It may be stormy. It may be bright and blue, but whatever it is, it's a beautiful day. Why? Because this is the day that the Lord has made. And so we're going to rejoice and we're going to be glad. And we're glad because God has given us another opportunity to love and live and experience God's grace and mercy. I pray that today would be a day where you uh, feel God's presence palpably and where something happens that reminds you that God is what? Still in control. I'm going to say it every time we get together uh, via worship, every time we have videos, every time we are live together, God is still good. One of the things I'm excited about today is that God is still in control. And because God is still in control, we know we still have help and hope through the Lord. Listen, I want to make sure we stay connected. And so I have a question I want us to ponder today as a community of faith. And this is the question I want you to think through. The question is, how has God given you opportunities in the last few weeks to show God's mercy beyond the church? How has God given you new ways to be the church, to experience God's uh, passion and love for others? How have we gone outside of the doors and the walls and figured out how to be salt, not just in the salt shaker, but out there in the world? I hope that our community congregation, the United Church of Christ, uh, has been deployed and engaged in brand new ways. All of you who are members of our congregation, I'm so grateful for the calls, for the uh, checkups I've been getting as I've been trying to share them with you all as well. So grateful to the leadership, particularly our deacons who have done the work of calling people and reaching out. Grateful to those of you who have figured out ways to gather, whether it be through Zoom for Bible studies, for those who have gathered for virtually by just kind of doing conference calls, those who have uh, figured out ways to share the love of God with others in new ways. I'm so excited about all of the beautiful things God is allowing this moment to bring out of us. Sometimes we got things inside of us that we don't see until the pressure's on and God is showing us that we are a community all about doing the work, showing the love, and God gets the glory out of all of our lives. Well, I'm not going to take all your time today. I just want to stop by and say hello. I'm not sure where you are. I'm not sure what time it is, but whenever you see this video, know that somebody from Community Congregational United Church of Christ is praying for you this week. We're going through the roster and praying for names. I'm praying for the city, the state, the world, the nation, making sure that all of us are lifted up in prayer. You're not by yourself. You're not all alone. Stay encouraged. Matter of fact, if you need some instruction and some information, one of the things you can do is make sure you go to our Facebook page, Community Congregational Church Montgomery. Put that in the search bar and you'll see our page come up. You can subscribe to get all of our video updates as they come through. You'll see videos of sermons. You'll see the Metanoia Movement, Ministering in Mime and Dance. You'll see even some news clips of some things God has used us to do in our community over the last few years. We're putting together a wonderful on-demand experience where you can be inspired and lift it up any time of the day or night. I hope you're blessed. I hope you're encouraged. And keep in mind, we are community. We will make it through this. We're stronger together and God is with us. God bless you. Talk to you next time.